Good morning, students. So today's topic is echinus. Okay. So um, uh, as we have completed uh, in the class, uh, the asterisk, the second video is the open print, which already we have shared, and the third one is the echinus. So the specimen echinus, or um, it's commonly called as sea urchin, that we all know, isn't it? So first we'll go with the classification. A phylum Echinodermata and the class Echinoidea, uh, order is Echinoidea and genus is Echinus and we commonly call as sea urchins. Okay, so uh, here uh, usually how the sea urchins look. Sea urchins looks like this. It has a small test or uh, you no know, uh, hard calcareous uh, skeleton, exoskeleton which it has and it is uh, you know, it is in the form of a test. So if you could see this uh, particular, um, you know, uh, specimen, you could identify this as the uh, sea urchin. Okay. And so starting with the points, uh, usually these organisms, uh, you know, live in the uh, intermediate or intertidal zones of the ocean, which is about uh, 5,000 meters depth. Okay. So you will find these uh, these animals there, organisms there. So these feed on the same like that of the um, other uh, echinoderm species. They are the tissues feeders and they feed on the uh, many tiny um, sedentary organisms which are there. All the sedentary organisms which are there in that particular area are all the victims of the RC urchins. Okay, so they feed on all the organisms that come across them and also they feed on the seaweeds. Okay. And so uh, that is about the uh, feeding. And uh, coming to the uh, color and how beautiful they look, they are very beautiful actually. Uh, they are they're very colorful, a pinkish red, purple, green and yellow colored uh, you know, tests are seen. So the test which is you know the sea urchins look like, uh, different various colors and uh, very beautiful they look. Uh, then uh, if you see this diagram, this diagram is uh, actually a diagram which is seen through a oral view. Okay, if you keep uh, this is a sea urchin. If you keep the sea urchin and take a photo photograph from the above. Okay, this is the mouth. So if you take a photograph from the above region, how does it look? It looks like this. Okay, this is how the picture is. This this is not a section. Okay, don't get confused with the section and the uh, oral view. This is on top view of the uh, echinus. Okay, if you see this uh, particular specimen, see if you are seeing through this region, right? So you could see the mouth region and the surrounding, uh, you know, the two feet, isn't it? So this is how the diagram is drawn. But actually, the sea urchin is like this, correct? So that's how uh, the view is taken off. Uh, and uh, why is this view uh, is easy for the explanation? That's why we have taken an oral view of the uh, diagram, oral view of the organism. Mm. Now, the test is made up of calcareous exoskeleton. Okay, and the uh, the outer uh, it is usually spherical in shape, and the calcareous exoskeleton, which is covered or lined by the ciliated epithelial cells. Okay, and here is the central mouth, okay, the oral region or the oral tentacles you have around the mouth and this is the teeth. And then you have the peristome, okay, which is the, which is the central portion of the sea uh, okay. And then uh, here you have a branchia and these are the two feet, which is radiated from the central region. Okay. So the two feeds are in the rows. Okay. There are ten rows meaning five pairs. Okay. Five pairs of two feeds. In between you have the spines. Okay. There are two rows of spines which are being uh, running. Double rows of spines are running parallelly. Okay. And uh, you will find that there are uh, spines and the the ambulacrine the space between the two uh, two feet we call as the ambulacrine. Okay? Uh, so, sexes are separate. Here also external fertilization is seen 
And one more thing I would like to tell you all. See, uh, this is the peristome. Okay, the, the region which is on the top and the periprot which is the other opposite end. Okay, so there are uh, two types of uh, spines which are present in the periprot region. Okay, so there are five uh, types, uh, five plates which are called as ocular plates which are very smaller in size and five plates which are there which should be called as the uh, genital plates. Okay, two uh, types of uh, Ethical place that you could find near the region of the periprot. Okay, so um, then uh, moving on to uh, uh, moving on with the uh, you know, the uh, zoology part. How do you identify as a specimen? So if you have to identify it as a specimen, this uh, this curve we have since it has been stored. Okay, the color is being faded off. Okay, this is somewhat grayish color, but it is turned up to be a white in color here. So, white colored round ball, which is hollow. Okay, if you can see the uh, picture, it's very hollow in nature. And uh, the the uh, organism is there. Okay, since it is stored here, you could see a hollow, hollow uh, no, region there. Okay, otherwise it is not a hollow region. Okay, and then you could find the two double rows of uh, spines and the two feet. Okay, and you could see that something which is like a cup, cup-like structure which you could see through which you can identify that it as a sea urchin. Okay, and uh, these sea urchins are also called to be as an Aristotle's Latin. Okay, so since uh, if you keep it as in, you know, or if you see the structure, it is almost similar to that of the Aristotle's uh, Latin itself. So henceforth they usually uh, they also call it as an Aristotle's Latin or the sea urchins or scientifically we call it as a Echanus. Okay. So here is the topic. If you have any doubts you can write in the comment section or you can uh, you know, text us for the comments. Okay. Thank